Jericho, a southern white rhino. Hi, I'm Dean Harrison, president of Out of Africa Wildlife Park in Camp Verde, Arizona. They call them white rhinos, but the word was uh, mistranslated. Uh, the word should be wide rhino because that's the shape of the mouse. He's a grazer. Grazers need a wide path like a lawnmower in order to eat the grass that, that grows in Africa. You can see how large he is. Rhinos are enormous in size. It's quite remarkable that they can run 30 to 35 miles an hour weighing 5,000 pounds. He eats about 100 pounds of hay per day. He only goes to the bathroom in one place, which is nice. It helps with the cleanup, but uh, of course that's about 100 pounds a day that he <laughs> uh, allows us to clean up. So uh, we, we appreciate it when it's only in one place. Now he's playing. This is fun, Jericho. Are you going to play? He says, are we filming today? Jericho joined us about seven years ago from Bush Gardens in Tampa, Florida. It took him a couple of weeks to really completely adjust, and when he did, oh my gosh, he never looked back. He loves his area. It's uh, hundreds and hundreds of trees and traveling areas for him that he enjoys. He has wet wallows and dry wallows. He has his own temperature controlled house. It's very much just like one of our houses. So he's warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Jericho enjoys uh, living here with us in Arizona. He's quite friendly. Rhinos can be uh, dangerous in the wild, but in captivity, when they get to feel comfortable with us, well, they like Jericho. He does like his pets, as you can see. He does come for that. This feels good to him. It's kind of like getting a massage. You move him around in different places like this, and, and he enjoys it quite, quite a bit. He has small hairs on his back on the side here. So even with his one inch thick skin, he can still feel who's touching him. His horn is made of keratin, which is the same material we find in our fingernails and our hair. It has no other properties other than what we have in our hair and fingernails. He likes to sharpen his horn, as you can see. He does that just in case there are lions in the neighborhood, and there are. Of course, he never actually encounters one, but in the wild, he would sharpen his horns on rocks and uh, trees and stumps and so forth. And that keeps him uh, confident that he can handle whatever comes to him. Jericho and I are good friends, but uh, not just me. He has many friends, and he is willing to befriend anybody. He just loves to be part of something greater than himself. He wants to know that he's loved just like we wish to know that as well, and feel like he belongs and he contributes, and that's what he's doing here now. By getting to know Jericho, we can actually learn a great deal about ourselves. He doesn't stress out over anything, except for the moment. If something happens and it spooks him, in a few moments, he's back to what he was before. So he's learned how to handle stress in a very fine way, which keeps him healthy and alive, even in the bush in Africa where there are lions. Well, now you've met Jericho, you can come and join him and his friends at Out of Africa Wildlife Park anytime you'd like.